I'm just telling you straight up, you know, from experience, from listening to other people's advice, but mainly from that life experience, man, like, trust me, things will change in your circumstances. Just focus on making advancements, and before you know it, before you know it, you'll be at a very, you'll be at a completely different um, place in life. I mean, that's just straight up. You know, I started off with saying making advancements, but the, the, the reality of it, the core of this is really, as you can tell, centered around patience, trusting your process, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Like there are so many uh, things that I would say go into making advancements that you should never be afraid to be new. You should never be afraid to not know something. Because, you know, experience is experience. And, and you know, just simply making advancements means you're making progress. Plain and simple. Thanks for tuning in to my gaming podcast, Gems in Gaming, where I play various games and tell different stories about my life, experiences, wisdom, uh, anything to help inspire and encourage others. You were born with the ability to change someone's life, and you should never waste it. If you enjoy, please like, comment, or subscribe. Yo, what's going on, y'all? So, uh, today's Gems in Gaming, we're going to talk about the subject called Making Advancements. Now, y'all know I play games with glasses or contacts. I don't have either of those right now because I was just like, yo, let me just go make some content for the peeps. I said two times a week, so I'm trying to commit. Uh, so the, whatever they typing right now on the screen, that that is foreign to me. But like I said, today's gems and gaming conversation is on making advancements. Making advancements. If you're new to gems and gaming, if I'm talking about something I feel like it's relevant for me, um, it's either something I've been through, something I've, I've gone through, or something that I'm currently going through, um, but something that I feel like would be important for other people to learn and be able to, you know, take those life lessons. So making investments, I'll start off with a story about my own personal growth, and then I'll just go from there. But yeah, making advancements. So, I, uh, you guys, I just told you about starting my own business. Now, I don't know what I was shooting at just now, by the way. I told y'all, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm slick playing blind. Why am I doing this? It's because, you know, for whatever reason, I feel invincible. But, so, you know, I don't know if y'all remember, for those that have been here. But I, I remember, like, you know, starting Gems and Gaming, just talking about my life, and the next thing you know, I started my own. I started my own business. I was talking about starting my own business, you know, back, I don't want to say back in the day, but, you know, about two years ago, eventually I did it. I think I've been doing Gems and Gaming now for, how long, like, three years? Well, two years for sure, um, but a little longer than when I had my business. And... And, uh, you know, when I started, it was not an easy journey. I mean, it is not an easy journey. Um, still. You know, um, you know, one thing I will admit that that I have seen some progress in is that, that stuff happens not when we want it to happen, of course. Because uh, then life would be too easy. But... But making advancements doesn't always have to be like something that you see. Um, I think they call it microwave culture, where it's like you know they want it, they want it done quick or they want it done fast. You know, making advancements, advancements sometimes mean just like having even growing patience or or you know um, growing trust in in. Um, you know your work or your workouts or anything anything that sometimes or 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 not sometimes because most of the, most things in life are actually like this but anything that requires you to grow over time is typically the hardest thing 
to focus on. Um, you know, just just in my opinion. So like working out was one that I mentioned. Starting my own business is one that I've seen success in. Um, they got a somber. Sorry, I'm just trying to stay focused. This was this was gonna be a quick and I can already tell. But you know, a lot of the times when people make those it, uh, uh, decisions to do something brand new, I guess I should say, or something that they didn't think they could accomplish, uh, a lot of the times they don't trust the the process of the ugly phase. You know, they don't trust they don't trust going through the ugly phase. It's the ugly phase that they don't like the most. All right, so like we all have those, if y'all know what I mean. Like we all have the ugly phase, right? So what exactly is the ugly phase? The ugly phase is like, you know, in middle school or high school, whenever you have to go through it. Sometimes even elementary school, like you got your acne, you know what I'm saying? You're not looking great. Everything's not uh, what you like. You know, you're probably most insecure. At least that's middle school was the the, the thing for me. But, you know, eventually I grew up to love the skin that I'm in, to love my skin complexion. I love the fact that I am a man. I love the fact that I'm 32. I used to hate a lot of things about me. I used to hate my age, the way that I look, the way, you know, I, I found a reason to find, I, I found a reason not to trust the process instead of just having the maturity to say, you know, let's focus on making advancements instead of focus on where we're not or you know instead of focusing on goals that we want that haven't happened yet like let's just focus on those advancements like all right so i started my business like i started this conversation telling y'all that's what i did and why did I, I don't know why i picked this character but um you know like i said i was starting my own business and i'm telling you man those first couple months were like the honeymoon like it felt good you know got my own business i get to say to people i started my own business uh you know i got to really enjoy the fact that i was an entrepreneur and and you know while i'm enjoying that bro i am blind as heck right now uh, but instead of like just enjoying, you know, the fact that I was starting a brand new business, I was focused on the fact that, you know, other entrepreneurs do this or other entrepreneurs have that, you know, I mean, like comparing myself, basically playing the comparison game. And when you play the comparison game, I think I've said this before, you're, you're only only taking away the joy of your process or you're only taking away the joy of allowing yourself to be new and buddy just murdered me um allowing yourself to be new you know you're not allowing yourself to be a a, a, a rookie in the game you're not enjoying your rookie season or season two or season three or season four like like making advancements is about having patience more than anything have that patience you know don't be a don't be too big to to take an L or you know don't be too big to she gonna kill me though <laughs> don't be too big to feel like oh my god I'm not where I need to be therefore it's not gonna happen or therefore you know it's, it's never gonna happen bro take your time make those advancements you know, make those advancements. And and after that honeymoon period, I started to, uh, you know, think that it was going to last that way forever. And then once I made that startup period where everything went up, immediately, because that honeymoon phase ended, I felt like oh, I'm a failure. You know, I felt like I'm not doing what I needed to do because... All the people that say they support you disappear. You know, all the immediate gratification um, emotions that you get 
from posting that oh, I'm an entrepreneur now, I'm trying this, I'm trying that, like that goes away after a certain time. Um, and and you don't receive that as much anymore. Like people will still support you, but if you're just posting, I'm starting a business, I'm starting a business, like that gets old real quick. Like people want to know, okay, you say you're starting a business now, what are you going, you know, what are you doing? All right, and and I was just so focused on the fact that you know I wasn't getting either the attention or I was comparing myself to other people. Like it was a lot that was going on um, that 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 didn't allow me to feel or trust the process that I was that you know this is what it, this is what happens. You know this is. This is how it goes, you know, these are the steps. Um, nah, this, this one might be a little bit more intense than I realized, but, you know, um, and I ain't got my glasses on, so I might just have to switch. <laughs> I might just have to switch, use my uh, glasses for this one. Take these people serious. But... You know, I mean, the bigger thing is, the bigger thing is, <laughs> the bigger thing is just making sure that, you know, you trust, trust your process and trust, you know, your journey because it will pay off. I'm just, I'm just telling you straight up. I'm just telling you straight up, you know, from experience, from listening to other people's advice, but mainly from that life experience, man, like, trust me, things will change in your circumstances. Just focus on making advancements, and before you know it, before you know it, you'll be at a very, you'll be at a completely different um, place in life. I mean, that's just straight up. You know, I started off with saying making advancements, but the, the, the reality of it, the core of this is really, as you can tell, centered around patience, trusting your process, allowing yourself to be vulnerable. Like there are so many uh, things that I would say go into making advancements that you should never be afraid to be new. You should never be afraid to not know something because, you know, experience is experience and, and, you know, just simply making advancements means you're making progress. Plain and simple. All right, I'm actually gonna have to try because I'm one and two, and I can't let that I can't let that slide. But y'all take it easy and God bless. Just FYI, we won.